I remember the first morning we heard the air crash. You see, the Danish government, we had to get um, make an exercise in total darkness, you know. And uh, the 10th or the 11th or the 12th. And then um, at 4 o'clock in the morning we heard an airplane in here. And I went to the window with my father, and my father said, uh, I never knew that the Danish airport had that many aircrafts. <laughs> And God damn, was German aircraft. I said, listen, Daddy, they have the Iron Cross on it, as well as and those are Germans. He said, you don't say. And then the Germans had, uh, you sort of come out from the aircraft, you know, letters to the population to keep it quiet, you know, don't make any resistance and stuff like that. What were you thinking about when this, when this was happening? You, you thought it was uh, disgraceful because... Uh, um, Denmark has signed, I think, six months before a non-aggression pact with Germany, that Germany would not aggress Denmark and Denmark would not aggress Germany. Now, we were four million people and there were about 80 million people, you know, 20 times bigger uh, manpower than we had in Denmark. What did, you, what did you think of the Nazi party as a child? How old were you in this 1940? Uh, 13 years old. And as a 13-year-old, what did you think about in terms of the Nazi party? Yeah, not too highly, you know. I didn't know the political, political end of it, you know. We didn't know that. But um, it was disgraceful because why should the German come to Denmark, you know? And they gave an excuse. They wanted to, they were to protect the world, that the Germans want to protect Denmark from the British. 